This is Vanessa Williams, and I want to bring you on a journey of a daily meditation, a time to relax, become one with yourself, quiet all the outside noise that lives in your head and in your daily life. Let Maria Papa Petros guide you into an experience that is none like any other. Please close your eyes. Finding yourself sitting at a comfortable chair. I'd like you to allow the space that your body occupies to support you fully. Trust it. And as you're trusting, I'd like you to begin feeling your feelings right now. And as you're feeling the various elements that have been invoked within you the moment you rest I'd like you to visualize a brilliant white golden light beginning like a small dot in the middle of your brain and I'd like you to experience this light growing, cleansing, healing, purifying. And I'd like you to see the light getting out into the ether and feeling this space. I'd like you to see this light working on walls, the floor, all surroundings. And finally, I'd like you to see this light touching your toes gently. And now at this point, I'd like you to begin listening to your body. As the light enters through the toes, I'd like you to experience the effect that it has into the body. Just take your time till you adjust your vibration to the rate of this light. I'd like you to see every single part, every single cell in the body responding to its healing touch. It is really wonderful. I'd like you to begin with your feet. The soles of your feet, the toes, the heels, the calves, the ankles. And as you're going through the various parts, I'd like you to be making mental notes of any area that is of concern and or has discomfort. And I'd like you to be silent for a moment.
and allow your own tune to be lowered so you can feel more that you can hear. You are vibrating on a wonderful frequency. It is your own tune, your own music. Keep making notes as you're going up with this light. Is there an area of concern? Make a note of it. I'd like you again to feel the cells responding to its healing touch. And also I'd like you to see this light working externally, cleansing, healing, firming. It is really magical. Make your notes. If there's a part in your body that is not comfortable, your light will be dimmed. I'd like you to stop and touch the part of the body, if you can, and ask her what it is that it wants from you. And listen to the answer. I'd like you to infuse the part of the body with light and love. Maybe it simply wishes to get your attention. We must be ever cautious in calling our back bad. Let's rethink when we say I have a bad back, a bad heart, bad knees. These parts of the body are part of you. That's what makes you whole. They're like children. You must learn to love them, even when they're bad, as you think. And love is the healer. Some parts of the body gotten astray a bit, wanting to get your attention. They feel alienated. Again, infuse them with love. Take your time and go up and down the body from the feet again to this part, to the knees, and infuse with love. Take your time. And as you're doing this, I'd like you to experience your heartbeat. Normal, perfect heartbeat. That is the sound that keeps you grounded and within your body always. And that is your connection to you in the universe. And right now, your heart has opened up and loving every single part of you without judgment, equally. It is a wonderful moment. And again, let's get back to our journey with the light, your healing light, bring it into the main track of your body. Around the, your intestinal track, Reproductive system, sexual organs, your colon, perfect health. Just perfect health. Bring it upward around your stomach. And remember, keep making your notes. And I'd like you to think of nervousness and project healing to that element of anxiety and stress. Remember, there is no separation with your body's physical, 
mental, emotional. When the one is out of balance, the others follow. So again, refuse to think parts of your body being bad. Now I'd like you to see those parts wearing a bright smile as they have happy to have joined you again to come home. I'd like you to take the light up higher into your chest, breast, the lungs, bronchial tube, rib cage, all organs within that enclosure. your back, definitely the heart center again, your shoulders and arms, perfect health right now. You are graced with a healing light and it is wonderful. Take it even higher around your throat your voice box. Clarity in your throat, the cords, your voice box. You're able to speak clearly, melodiously at all times. You're able to sing at wish, keeping harmony with your voice to the universe. Take the light up to your ears and give your hearing a break. Use the light to cleanse your ears. Again, strengthen your hearing. Heal your ears of the abuse and misuse loud sounds. Allow your ears to hear everything, the minutest sound, and interpret it well. And allow the ears and your throat, your mouth, the speech to be coordinated so you're able to hear, speak, sing, harmoniously, effectively at all times. This is really beautiful. You're doing this right now. I'd like you to work in your nose, the breathing and your sinus. These are the minor parts of the body as we see them that need your attention and love. They need more love than commercial aids to open the passages of your nose. Follow your eyesight. Infuse brilliance, detail, spectrum of colors. Some of the colors have been dimmed around your eyesight. Just let them look at a rainbow and recognize all. Think of clarity, think of your vision. Ideal vision. And finally, let's take the light around our brain. And I'd like you to establish communication with every single part of your brain to the parts that it corresponds to. Get them to be friends and experience all the parts of the body picking up the messages easily and clearly of what the brain wants. When the brain gives the command to raise the hand, see it being raised simultaneously. It is really great. You have ability, you have mobility. Work on all the meridians of your body. You're able to function well. 
release excessive tiredness, aching. You are in charge. You're in the driver's seat of your vehicle. And that is your vehicle. There are elements that have come into your journey, into your path. And when you have that list of those elements of past illnesses, of things that are going on right now, I'd like you to ask them again the same question. What are you telling me? What do you want from me? And make notes. Now let's concentrate for a moment on our hair follicle. Our hair. And at what's between the two ears. Which is a whole complicated system besides the two hemispheres of your brain. I'd like you to take the light and work on all the thalamuses of your brain. Right, left. Get them to be friends again. You're able to think at all times intelligently, creatively, spiritually, wisely. You own your own mind. And at that, I'd like you to listen to your own tune. And that is what your brain dances to, to your own music. It is really beautiful. You are beautiful. And now, lastly, take that light all the way back. The back of your head, your shoulders and arms, your spinal column, all the way down the middle of your body, kidneys, perfect health, just perfect health. And now at this point, as this journey has been intense up to now, I need you to relax. Just relax, relax. Lower the tune of your own music and just let yourselves float, just browse in that sphere and give a chance to all those parts of the body to rejoice one another, they're connected again. And then I'd like you to see yourself outdoors And I'd like you to experience the sounds of nature. Your eyesight is more brilliant. You can hear every single sound that before your radar picks it up. It has blended already with the rest of you. I'd like you to smell everything around. And I'd like you to see a picnic table being spread under a big, big shady tree. And with the master healer of your spiritual team awaiting for you. They're ready to discuss anything that concerns you about healing, fitness, physique, health habits, eating habits. And as you're sitting in that wonderful spread that you're looking at on the table of food, 
would like you to honor your guest. I'd like you to ask their identity and their name. It is the master healer of your spiritual team. And I'd like you to discuss with this person again what concerns you. Is there an illness? I'd like you to listen to what they have to say. You may have to learn how to live with that element in some way as a condition but not an illness and function totally till it is healed in time. You may be able to heal elements instantly. Actually, you have gone through a healing. And now I'd like you to discuss elements of addiction, the addictive element. And I'd like you to become aware of those elements. Is it to food? Is it to overly using or abusing the food? Is it smoking? Is it drugs? Is it addiction to truth? Addiction to lying? Addiction to impress? Addiction to be driven and be better? For all those elements that you're addicted to, once you're successful in achieving the pleasure they give you because they give no happiness, just pleasure, then immediately you reward the body with excessive elements such as more food and more of all the other elements that you use. I'd like you to think, are there any elements that you'd like to specifically moderate and or eliminate from the table? If so, find yourselves removing and or moderating the portions. It is really wonderful. It is up to you to up level addiction to a preference. Make everything a preference and assume responsibility for its use and or consumption. I'd like you to think of your physique. Are you addicted into looking good, toned and firmed? Are you using aids toward that? Synthetic hormones? Are you just working out? I'd like you to take a few moments in silence and discuss mentally a program with your master healer. Take your time. Discuss your own program. How often is right for you to eat? To exercise? What kind would work for you? What kind of a program that is really wonderful?
perfect communication. You are establishing communication between your mind and body in attunement with your higher self. I'd like you to bless what's on the table, that it will sustain you. You eat for sustenance, healing, not just pleasure. You're so special. You're so special to have worked to come to this moment that you are in touch with your higher self that is within you. If you have caused an imbalance, you can help soften it and or heal it. You have that power. And now I'd like you to enter the healing pool that's near the stream to your right. And in that water, I'd like you to experience the new you that has emerged, the you that you have tried to suppress with excessive usage of the above elements, including food. In that healing pool, I'd like you to release the fear of feeling your feelings and emotions. It is okay to feel them. And now as you are calm and feeling great about yourself, full of hope, I'd like you to design your body within reason, your measurements, I'd like you to think of the size of clothing that is ideal for you and let the number come to you. I'd like you to decide on a weight scale and decide in the pounds that you would like to weigh. And that weight is comparable to who you are today. I'd like you to decide on colors that would be the best for you. I'd like you to decide in sports activity that is for you. And while completing this process and knowing that the process will continue for the next 40 days effortlessly in the sleep pattern and a dream pattern. I'd like you to see yourselves outside the water. And I'd like you to visualize a place. It's kind of an open space. It is beautiful. Many friends, people like you, health conscious, not with an addictive aspect. People whose wish is to grow old, healthy, fit, and with a wish to age gracefully and accept what is. I'd like you to see yourselves on a scale, and I'd like you to see are you desirable?
flawed inside. So you may be the same one that also the universe has for you. I'd like you to look at a full length mirror with an outfit of the colors you choose. You radiate love, confidence, youthfulness. You're awesome and ageless. It is really wonderful as your guides are very happy that you went through this process of rebirth. You're giving yourselves the world. It's like you just signed the other option of your life script for the next many years to come. It is a long lifetime. You will be creative, wonderful, wise, and healthy. Your healing talents have been opened in that healing water. It is a wonderful moment that you are accepting who you are today, the newer you, the updated you, the rejuvenated you. And now, I'd like you to hear the music. There is great music that you dance to, and dance, dance, dance. Dance to the dance of life. Healthy life is your birthright. You are on this earth plane to be happy and healthy and project that to all you meet. You are a wonder. Just before we return, I'd like you to make the commitment to be writing in your journal any element that comes up down to tiredness, doesn't have to be only an illness. Understand it and bless it away. It was only trying to get your attention. You are awesome. You have the ability to heal the self. And right now, without awareness, with the dance still in your feet and the song in your heart, the song of life, I'd like you to begin coming forward. And as you're coming forward, I'd like you to give thanks to your guide, love, the universe, for the successful journey that you've taken and how you treasure their help. You may continue being asleep and or you may open your eyes and project your light. You are blessed. Know that your higher self and psychic self will always warn you and you will be able to pick up the signs. God bless.